So in this video, we're going to look at rapping the exhaust. And I'm not talking about a lyrical style of music that's become popular in recent times. We're talking about coatings that go onto the exhaust. So we're going to consider why you would want to put some kind of coating on the exhaust and the problems that can arise sometimes when you don't have one of these wraps or protective coatings on the exhaust itself. So this video is going to explain two major options that you have with regard to coating your exhaust, ceramic coatings and thermal bandages. And we're going to discuss the pros and cons of each of those and see just what temperature reduction you get applying each of those methods. <laughs> big problem that you'll have when you've tuned your car is the under bonnet temperatures start to get hot. They start to get really, really high. And that's naturally expected because you're raising the power, you're burning more fuel. And when you burn more of something, you generate a lot more heat. So that heat under the bonnet and in the engine bay can cause problems. Firstly, the intake, if it's not sighted correctly with the cold air feed coming in from outside, you're going to be sucking in very warm air into the engine itself. And that's going to carry less oxygen. So that's going to be detrimental to your performance. And also engines don't like getting too hot. They have an optimum operating temperature. And effectively, if you start creating an oven in your engine bay, that engine temperature is likely to start running away. So if you've not properly designed the cooling system, you've incorrectly specified the oil, you're going to have problems with thermal buildup inside the engine that's going to have a knock on effect with other things. And maybe even the ECU is going to start backing off power in order to keep keep things cool and to keep things running normally. Now, another issue you've got in a lot of modern cars is they have catalysts or DPFs, filters that are sighted inside the exhaust somewhere. And in nearly all cases, these need quite a bit of heat in order to be efficient. So if the exhaust itself is firing out the heat within the engine bay, before it hits these pollution reducing devices that have been added by the manufacturer, thereby reducing their efficiency and minimizing their lifespan. So what options have you got to keep all of that heat inside the exhaust system. Well, one of the easiest and most effective methods is just a, a thermal bandage. And this basically is just like creating a mummy on your exhaust system. You get a bandage and you wrap up each part of the exhaust as it comes out of the engine to the bit outside the engine bay underneath the car. And that effectively constrains the loss of heat and keeps that heat inside the exhaust. So your DPFs, your catalysts and everything inside the exhaust is running warmer how it should do. But you're not creating that issue with radiating heat into the engine bay area where you don't really want it. Another option you've got is a ceramic coating. Now, don't confuse a ceramic exhaust coating with paint that's got ceramic flakes in it. The paint with ceramic flakes is far less efficient than a proper ceramic coating. Now, ceramic itself is a very poor conductor of heat. So if you've got a barrier of ceramic on the exhaust itself, it's going to become a poor conductor of heat and it's going to trap more heat in the exhaust itself. So how does a ceramic coating and an exhaust wrap thermal bandage compare in terms of heat reduction. So when measured, the underbonnet temperatures are typically reduced by about 30 to 40 percent if the exhaust has a ceramic coating on it. But if you apply thermal bandages to the exhaust, you can see up to about 60 percent reduction in the underbonnet temperatures. And there's certainly nothing stopping you from getting a ceramic coating applied and also then applying a thermal bandage to further increase the efficiency. So there's a few little myths around that I just like to dispel. A lot of people say that wrapping the exhaust makes the metal in the exhaust too hot and it's detrimental to the lifespan of the exhaust. Well, exhausts are designed to run pretty hot and you, you won't reduce the lifespan of a well-designed exhaust system just by wrapping it. In fact, you'll be protecting the outside of the exhaust from exposure to moisture and the elements. So that can actually have a beneficial effect in the long-term longevity of the exhaust. I know some people have said that the exhaust bandages tend to get damp and trap the moisture against the metal of the exhaust, which they say would be detrimental. But in the real world, that's not generally the case. I would love to hear your experiences of this. There's a, a big debate raging on. People are quite passionate on both sides of the argument. So if you've had experiences with problems that have happened when you've applied thermal bandages to your exhaust, 
let us know in the comments, pass on your tips. If you've done it and you've noticed no detriment at all, again, please let us know. And it'll just help us to build a more accurate rounded out picture. Ceramic coatings are quite expensive to apply. They require quite specialized setups and specialized equipment in order to get the ceramic coating to bond to the exhaust. It looks very nice when it's done. You can't beat an exhaust system that's got a ceramic coating. And we've seen really nice white coatings, um, which look really good in an engine bay and also a sort of powder the black finish um, which again looks really nice in an engine bay and it can finish off the car nicely so if you've got a car maybe with external exhaust headers coming out the side i'm thinking of the sort of classic caterums and the cobras of this world think about getting a ceramic coating done because that will look really nice coming out of the side of the engine i hope you found this useful it's giving you some advice on how to keep those exhaust temperatures from affecting the under bonnet engine bay area temperatures so i hope you found this video Video useful. It's certainly given us quite a few things to think about with reducing those engine bay temperatures just by restricting the amount of heat that is transmitted from the exhaust itself into the engine bay. And if you've got a turbocharger on the exhaust as well, that can add a little bit of complexity to the job. But it's certainly possible. We've seen nice thermal wraps going around turbochargers as well. So it's certainly possible to pretty much eliminate most of the heat that's coming off the exhaust into the engine bay. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we would love you to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.